Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing today? Yeah, it's that time again. Sorry for the delay, but finally got another in Jim Brentire's music series, songs I've written over the years that have never really seen the light of day. Well, this one has seen a little bit of light of day, but not that much. It's called American Burger and Fries. Uh, I don't have a whole lot to say about the song. It's just evidence of watching too much Food Network. That's what did it, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's basic uh, sort of 50s rock inspired. I always thought of it as the Beach Boys meets the Food Network. Let's do this. In America, gird up blow the tail fins, rock and roll on the radio, Saturday night at the drive-in. DA t-shirt and faded blue jeans, charcoal barbecue American cuisine, certified Angus brown just right, it comes as no surprise. Put it on the grill. American burger and fries. Road trip in the summertime, heading for the coast. Swimsuit, flip flops, beach towel, the beach is where we'll go. Oh, the beach is great, but nothing beats the thrill of well, the smell and the sizzle of a burger on the grill. Quarter pound, half pound sliders too, you can get them any size. Heaven on a bun, American burger and fries. Go oh, to have a meal that's red, white, and blue. Red meat, white bread, and blue cheese too. America is where it's at. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Sprinkler in the yard. Kids are running through it's Friday night fireworks Church on Sunday too And this ketchup, mustard, pickle, onion Any way you please Doesn't even have to be American cheese On a flat top or a charcoal grill You'll know who win first prize It's an American dream Makes me want to sing Gets my mouth watering Man, it's just the thing American burger and fries And there you have it. <laughs> I still like that song. I can't help it. Uh, um, this is the extended version. After getting some feedback from uh, National Songwriters Association, uh, suggested it was too long, and so I cut the meat out of the third verse uh, to shorten it to more of a pop song length, but it doesn't matter. I've never really sold any of my songs to anyone anyway, so uh, might as well play the extended version, right? As I said, I don't have a whole lot else to say about the song. It was a fun little song. 
One little anecdote. I did get a chance once to very briefly meet Michael Simon at a book signing at, uh, in Beechwood, and I gave him a copy of that song on CD. I don't know if he ever listened to it, but at least I gave it to him. Anyway, I'm going to leave it right there for right now. You all have a good one. We'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye.